think so you're okay with women wearing whatever what's the like what's the the minimal aesthetic as far as the looks of what a woman should be out in public with i'm not going into the whole relationship non-relationship i'm just saying just to get a certain level of respect as a woman right um do you think it's okay to wear a certain attire i don't judge women by what they have on you don't nah i think you're lying I've been to so many clubs, seen so many things. Nah, I don't. Because even a stripper who's on the pole, if she comes to you, you just can't do nothing. You just can't do anything to her. No. You know I mean, but, as the man. You, would, you, would you bag it, wife it? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, no, so you yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. you you can't, you do judge. Okay, you do yeah, judge. okay. So right, it, if, that, if that's, what, that, that's right. what I'm saying. Okay. Like, like Drugs, all right, yeah, yeah. It, I, if, I drug, but I don't treat people differently. Like, you're gonna go into a certain category based on what you you got on. Exactly. All right. right? And, and it's the, the way you display yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I told you before, my 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 landscaper, right? My last landscaper, mm. dude, you know, comes, he does his job, you know, drops his bill and everything like that. Right. One day he lives on my block. Okay. One day I see him blackout drunk, crawling down the street. With his like, with his ass hanging out his pants, and I don't, I, I didn't know what was going on, right? And I was gonna go out and help him, but I'm like, I'm embarrassed for him because yeah, I'm yeah. his customer, and it's yeah. like, how are you out here as a businessman yeah. laying on the street like super drunk yeah, on like weird. a Sunday afternoon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's a wild boy, wow, right? Yeah, and it made me look at him differently after that. Okay, All you, right. you okay. understand what I'm saying? So yeah, the way yeah. you present yourself. Yeah. Yo, people are gonna deal with you accordingly. Man, I can never look at him the same after that. No, I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. Yeah, I give, yeah, I give you that. People get judged on what they how they present themselves in public. And I think women need to know that. That I, women, I think they they really need to know that that all these women could could be out here talking about well this that and the third or the guy this or that and the third. It's about the level of the level that you, the standards that you set for yourself, not yeah. for what men set for you, right? Right. Men are just gonna judge, right? And men are gonna make the determination based on their own shit, right? Right, right, right. But as uh, for women, and I would say this to young women because they probably look up to a, a female like a Kiki Palmer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And she probably does have the pulse of some of these young girls, yeah. and they see her. Following like that, suit and, with following all the suit and they think that shit is okay, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because in, in the only most of the people that are saying that shit is okay is women, right? And the men that are saying that is because they just want something to look at. Unprotected women, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, Because as a woman, you go from your first layer of protection are your parents. Mm -hmm. They give you the approval. They, you know, if if... You're a teenager and you're walking out the house and you're wearing something or you're going to to, to the mall and your shorts are too too short or your top is go go change that. You, you represent my family. You're under my guidance. I gotta come get you if anything goes goes wrong. Mm -hmm. You're under my, you know, tutelage. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you get with a man, there's a certain level of that as, as well too. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. yo, listen, that's if you're with me, maybe. You're out there on your own. I kind of can't swing that, you know. I, I didn't feel like he did anything wrong except put it put it on blast on social media. No, that, that, that was, was a little weird. I hear some people say that um, she embarrassed him publicly, so he had to reprimand her publicly. Ah, uh, there's a time and a place for that. That was a little too much f for him, but I'm glad he did it because we we get to have this conversation now. Yeah, and you know? again, women don't let this woman right, who's probably she could be suffering from postpartum. She just yeah. had a baby. Yeah. She probably not feeling mm -hmm. like she looked the greatest. So she got her shit done, and now she want to show it off. She needs the, she needs that validation. She needs that attention. So just, you know, attention is like adrenaline to women. Clout, you know what I mean? So Cloud is a drug, bro. She mm -hmm. probably did that for that. Mm -hmm. And Seen that ass was poking. I, I, I Seen them titties was tittying. And she was like, yo, nah, I'm, I'm going to show this off like. 
You know what I mean? Let me sneak this dress. And and you gotta and understand. I don't think homie knew that she was she was wearing that. And she's not going to she's not gonna say it was anything wrong with it in public. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's gonna try to play it out a certain way, and people are gonna go after the dude. But because she can't yo, get checked publicly, you know. What nah, I mean? she, she can't. She can't. She can't. But on the flip side, Uzi got checked publicly, and he ate it at the BET Awards. He was getting a little cozy with Ice Spice. Mm-hmm. His girl came over to him, you know, called him a goofy, called him a lame, called him a you know all all all, all, all types of things for being a little too cozy with a, with another woman. And everybody celebrated her, and everybody laughed at him, you know. But it's the flip side when we do it, you know. Yeah. Everybody got their boundaries, yo. Um, was there ever a time when you were dating and you were kind of, I'm not going to say scared, but apprehensive about putting your, your boundaries over, you know? Because boundaries could, most people couldn't be are, looked though. as insecurity. Exactly. A lot of people, people looked are. at him as being insecure. Yeah. Like, I think I think you got to commend people that have standards and they do have they boundaries, square. right? Because yeah. I know a lot of dudes that have withered, you know, on their boundaries just so they could get some ass, so they could be with a, be with a chick. Yeah. And they know – what what the female is doing, or even what the dude is doing, yeah. they know they don't like it, but yeah. they're gonna go for yeah. it because they don't yeah. want they won't want to be alone, or they want to be with that person. Yeah. They don't want to break up or whatever. Yeah. Damn, boundaries are healthy though. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. It saves you a lot of headache and heartache in the end. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, that's what it is. Let's let's.